Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel where we talk about all things influencing, thrifting, and interior design. And today I'm going to be going thrifting to a couple of thrift stores that are in my, um, in the next town over from my hometown. Not really my hometown, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> it's just the town that I'm living in. Um, but I'm gonna be thrifting for props for my photos as well as stuff for my shop. If you haven't followed along on Instagram, I am rebranding my shop from Rooted Wild Vintage to Mayday Co. And it's just a little bit more me, so it'll match up and it'll make sense from, you know, what I am now. I'll start selling stuff that I actually would wear or like have in my home. So that's kind of what we're doing today, trying to find stuff for that. And I'm just gonna bring you along and wish me luck. Hopefully we get some good finds. Also, I just realized that I'm looking here, but this is where I should be looking and that's gonna be really hard and distracting. So give me a little bit of, um, of adjusting period to get used to that. But you guys are right here, not right here. Wish me luck. Okay, let's go. My camera died so I didn't get to film the rest of my thrift trip I actually went to two more thrift stores after that and I ended up finding quite a bit and so I was like well I was gonna do a thrift haul anyways so I'm gonna still do that portion but you just you guys just won't see the hunting process um, and this video will be shorter for that reason but I will be doing these fairly often um, especially when I head out to Utah, I'll have a lot more thrift stores to go to and I'll be able to go to them a lot more frequently. Um, but let's get started and I'll show you what I found in no particular order. 
I'm just going to grab what I found and let you know what I'm keeping and what I plan on selling in my shop. So I found this hat. Um, it actually, I think it's more of like a decorative hat because I put it on and it kind of looks funny. But it's really cool. I mean, you can pop it out like that on all sides. And I think it would be really cool like as wall decor or just like sitting like that. Or you can obviously pop it back like this. Um, there were two of them, but I only got one because I don't know how it's going to do. So that's the first thing. Hi, Looney. <laughs> She's going to jump in like all my videos. Okay, and then this is actually something that I almost didn't grab, but I thought somebody would really like this. And the more that I look at it, I'm like, it's actually pretty cool. Like, it is a white ceramic candle holder and... I don't know what it is I just like the shape of it and like how chunky it is and I have never seen a candle holder like it so this will be going in the shop sometime um I found another basket I mean you can never have too many but I've been having a hard time recently finding cute ones and I thought this one was pretty cute and you can use it as like a catch-all for scrunchies or hair scarves I think it's perfect for that that will be going in the shop Okay, and then I found this book, and I like to collect books that not only look good as decor, but also are interesting. So this one is like Places to Know, and it's like a travel book with just different pictures of different places. And I think it's cool when it's both functional and pretty, because then it's not just some like random book about, I don't know, building... Um, I don't know building the car that's cool but like there's some topics where I'm like that is weird and people would probably be like why do you have that in your house um, but this I will be selling and I also plan on collecting a bunch of these and like putting together book kits that you guys can purchase um, where I source you know like five books or whatever that look good together and you can buy the kit to have on display so this will be one of those. Okay, and then this item, I freaked out when I saw this. I, I don't know if you guys can like see these things as good, but now I'm like gonna be like one of those YouTubers that's like, um, here's my mascara wand. Uh, is it focusing? <laughs> um, but it's this, it's really heavy actually, but it's this marble um, little container. I don't know, you can put candy in it, jewelry in it. It is so, so pretty, so heavy. Um, but the only downside is that it does have some chipping on the lid, which sucks. But when you close it, you can't see it really. And if nobody buys it, I'll keep it because it is that cool. I just love the color of it and the, I don't know, it's so pretty. Next is this like infinity scarf. I mean, I love like the texture of it. It's so soft in the color. I love the Sherpa stuff. Um, so you can just kind of like wear it like this just as a long scarf or you could wrap it around like an infinity scarf but it's really chunky so if you like that style then you can do it that way too but this will be going in my shop as well. And then I love finding tops like this. This one is just a nice cream flowy top with this paneling in the front and I think these are really pretty when you like wear them oversized and you kind of have them like halfway um button or not halfway button down that's scandalous girl you can have like three buttons um unbuttoned and I think it looks really pretty okay what are you doing she's just gonna be the star of the show okay and then this huge thing it's like a vintage ski jacket like how cool is that it has these like cinches that cinch at the waist like that and it's it's coming off more like orange on camera but it's actually more of like a mustard color and it has like super old park city ski lift tickets on it which i think is so awesome so i don't know i think i might keep this or sell it at some point but i haven't decided yet Next, this is like super awkward to grab. Don't want to break it. Okay. So this is, okay, I'm going to say this totally wrong. Um, it's a Romer Tof, Tof, 
Um, I've like seen these at thrift stores before and I didn't really know what they were, but they're like a baking dish. Um, I have one of these and then I thrifted another one to sell in my shop, but you can bake like roasts in here, potatoes in here, whatever you want. And they also just like look really pretty on display. Like if you have open shelving in your kitchen, this would look nice and it's functional. Let's see, let's move this out of the way. What else do we have? Okay, so I have this basket full of goodies. So these will be in my shop. These are just little shell coasters or not really a coaster. I, I don't know what it's called. I cannot think. A trevet. It's a trevet. And this is where you would put like a pan to cool. Um, and then these are like some smaller ones. And this would come as a set of three. I also found this adorable mustard bowl that you can, I don't know. I like to have like various bowls like this for when I'm cooking just to put like ingredients in or spices or sides in. Um, you could use it as an ice cream bowl, a catch-all dish, shelf decor. Like these things are pretty universal and I just thought this one was a cute shape and color. This will be in my shop. This next item is this beautiful brass. Well, I don't know if it's necessarily brass. I think it's more of like a ceramic with a thing. But, um, that was scary. Um, it's a shell container. And I just thought it was really pretty and someone could put... Sorry, I'm like banging things and you can't hear me. Um, someone could put jewelry in here or, I don't know, whatever you want to put in a little shell box. It is so pretty. So this would be in my shop as well. I also found one of these things and I really don't know what it is. I see them like in shops all the time like with soap and stuff so I'm assuming it's like a, a dish soap type of or a dishwashing type of scrubby thing. Let me know if you know what this is. I also found these earrings. Every time I go to this particular focus every time I go to this particular thrift store I see these and I don't get them but I thought you know what they're really pretty brass um, or gold and then they have like a cream design wavy design on it and I thought maybe somebody would like it in my shop so going to sell that okay and then I have this little dish here I thought this was really pretty to use as um, like a jewelry dish for rings or earrings this would be really cute. It's going in my shop. And then these, these are kind of dirty, but like I found them um, for myself. They're a little bit big, but I think if I tighten them, they would fit and they're just kind of like knockoff Birkenstocks. I don't know if anything I'm showing you is in focus, but we'll have to see when we watch this back. Um, but these will be super fun for the summertime and I don't know just to bring to the beach so I don't wreck my actual Birkenstocks so those are for me last is this basket and I thought it would be so so cute for an Easter basket I think it's so fun to thrift your Easter baskets um, because there's so many like varieties out there and they're not tacky they're actually cute so this one was like the perfect shape super big and I'm definitely gonna keep this for like the future and my kids could use it one day. I just think it's a really good find. But that is everything that I got at the thrift stores that I went to. Um, I think it was pretty successful. Most of it will be going in my shop. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And if you like these types of thrift with me's and wanna see the behind the scenes of me curating stuff for my shop, um, just let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe, like this video, all that jazz, and thank you so much for watching. Bye friends!